Uh, one thing I did forget to mention on the first video is if you will be riding in deep water, make sure that the water does not come, you know, past your neck. Uh, that will allow plenty of room for the air intake or the snorkel to uh, still take in air and not take a chance of any water splashing inside. And also, you know, if you get any deeper than that, you'll obviously drown while you're driving. So, uh, a little common sense. And one thing I forgot to show you on the inside of this truck, if you are gonna be riding in deep water, you wanna make sure the radiator fan is off. So, I mean, basically the water you're riding in will cool the motor. So basically, to turn that radiator fan off, is gonna be this switch right here and you just flip it down it's gonna turn the fan off so you don't burn the motor up to the fan so remember that deep water turn the fan off radiator fan off okay on this video we're gonna go over the actual skid unit on the back okay so now when you get to the back of the truck in order to gain access to the bed of the truck all these trucks come equipped with a ladder stowed under the bed so what you need to do there's going to be a pin right here you'll pull that pin the ladder pulls out and you see the ladder hinges at the top so you pull the ladder out Set that right there. Now I'm going to open the tailgate. Let the tailgate down. Okay. And if you look on the right side, when you let the tailgate down, you have two holes. So what these holes are for, these right here go down inside the holes. So that's how the ladder goes into the bed of the truck. So now that gives you access to the bed of the truck. It only goes on the right side and you, you have a grab handle right there. But that is how you use the ladder on this truck. Now we'll go over the operation of the pump. There's your pressure. It goes from zero to 600. 400 PSI is the max. It's preset right now for 200 PSI. 200 PSI is plenty. And I'm gonna go over this valve in just a minute. That's where you adjust your pressure. I took the agitation handle off. That's your spray gun valve. So that has to be on in order to get water. I'm in the bed of the vehicle. You have all kind of attachment points. Back here, don't mess with any of these con controls. If you have any problems with this truck, just let me know. If you need anything done to it, let me know. Okay. That's the fill. That's the fill tank. This stays full. It stays ready at all times. That's a 200 gallon tank. Okay. All right, there's your hose reel. It's 300 feet of hose. And it's already been burned on the exhaust, it looks like. Gosh, doggy. Okay, so anyway, if you have 100 feet of this rolled out, you're going to have to have a way to roll it back up. Okay, right here, there's a little hidden spot. That is your handle to roll your hose up. It goes on just like that. So that's your... That's your handle for your uh, hose, hose roller. It does have a, an electric reel on it, but it's not wired to the battery. Remember, this is a 24 volt system. So it, in order to make that work, we would have to actually put a 12 volt battery in, or we can wire it for the uh, 20 volt, 24 volt system. We don't use this enough to justify hooking that electric reel up. You got a hydrant wrench and two spanner wrenches here. Okay, regular gasoline. All right, so anyway, right here, okay, that's, you see the, the 
the ground. Okay, so right here, that's your on and off switch. And so it's on. Okay, I'm gonna turn the fuel on. The choke is already on. We should have this thing ready to go. That's your throttle. Right here's your throttle. Choke is on. Fuel is on. One or two pulls, that should be it. If it doesn't crank in one to three pulls, you need to check something is wrong. You need to go back and recheck everything. turned it down so you can hear my video okay there's an extra nozzle right here and it will not come out so keep that in mind there's an extra this is an extra nozzle for the hose it's just a regular garden hose gonna make sure that's all I'm just gonna I'm gonna spray some water down inside the tank to uh, show you how this thing I don't want to have to fill this tank up so I'm just gonna basically recirculate the water. Alright so in order to get pressure okay you'll have control spray gun you want to turn it on okay spray gun is on pressure still zero this right here, that's going to be down. This has to come up. Okay, did you hear the pump? Okay, it's about 150 PSI. This is how you adjust your pressure. So, so turn it to the right. Clockwise is going to increase. Counterclockwise will decrease. Okay, so now... See, we're flowing water right there. Okay, we're flowing water. I'm gonna put that back in there. We're still flowing. Okay, so we're done. Let's say we're done. Uh, the fire's out. We're ready to shut everything down. First thing you want to do: do everything in reverse. Dump that. Dump this. That's your pressure. Dump your pressure. Okay, you'll see. You'll see the hose when I dump it. See how it's real? Okay. Remember, straight up is pressure. So remember, up is high pressure. Down is no pressure. You shouldn't have to mess with this. This needs to be around 200 psi on your gauge. turn your pump off but after you uh, dump your pressure turn your spray gun valve off after you do that the best thing to do is to just uh, turn your fuel off and burn all that gas out of the carburetor so basically you'll turn the fuel off and you'll just let it run till it dies and that's it and that way the, the uh, on and off switch is going to be in the on position the fuel will be off it'll be burned out of the carburetor and then all you need to do then after it uh, burns all the fuel out and turns off, just turn your choke back on so it'll be ready for the next time. But uh, that's pretty much it on this system. It's pretty, pretty simple. I took the uh, agitation valve off and what that is, that's just for like chemicals and fertilizer. That basically, it's like your tank recirculate, just like on a fire truck. That's kind of like the same thing as your uh, tank fill recirculate valve. So you're not going to have any pressure inside your, uh, on your hose if you have that valve on. So I just turned it off. I mean, I just took it off to where it didn't mess anybody up. So we're not going to be spraying any chemicals or fertilizer, so we didn't even need that valve. But uh, that's it. And this completes the videos on operation of the brush truck. Thanks for watching.